Hello everyone, in this video we're going to get an early look at the new test manager experience that Microsoft is building for the next version of Windows 11. The new feature is still under development and it hasn't even been announced yet, however it can be enabled with an open source tool that is available on GitHub which you can use on Windows 11 build 22538. Ok, so here's an early look at the new test manager for Windows 11. The app uses the modern design elements found on Windows 11, including rounded corners, the Mika material that reflects the desktop background colors on the frame of the application, and the tabs are located in the left side rather than on the top. At the top, depending on the tab that you're viewing, you're going to see different hero elements. For example, the processes tab, you're going to find the CPU, GPU, memory, disk, and network utilization at that time. But these are placeholders right now because that doesn't change in that's like fixed numbers that you're seeing here and even the the name for the computer and the uh, model that's now for this particular computer also depending on the tab that you're viewing you're going to see different actions on the top right uh, for example on the processes tab you're going to see the option to run a new task and a task and change the view for that particular tab however because this app is still not working correctly the buttons are not working at all also, since the app is still not working, you're not even going to see any of the uh, processes currently running on your computer, but that's at least in my installation. Also, for example, if I switch to the performance tab, that will crash the application and I'm going to have to restart the task manager or actually restart it by itself. But as you can see, that didn't work. But we can navigate to the app history section and here we see only a button to open app which doesn't open anything on the startup apps we get the same hero elements but we have the option to select the the app if there were anything listed here to enable and disable that app on a startup and to access the properties for that application you can also click the menu to open the file location or search online we can also view the users currently connected to the computer and we get the option to to disconnect or manage user accounts but again nothing is working and you can open this menu as well and the details tab also nothing is showing up and there is a services tab as well that allows you to start stop restart and there is an option to open services which actually does the legacy services application and you get a menu option with these two with these two options. One thing that is clearly different on the new task manager for Windows 11 is the new settings page that allows you to customize different settings for the application. And one feature that is exciting about this particular app is that now you can use task manager with different theme colors. For example, now you can use the light theme or the dark theme, or you can let the system choose the color depending on the color mode that you're using on Windows 11. Before I show you how to enable and disable the new test manager on Windows 11, I just wanted to show you that now the test manager it's working a little bit better on my installation and this happened after I disabled it and enabled it again. So as you can see now we have all the uh, processes that are currently running on the computer but uh, still the top header is a placeholder because nothing is changing. Now let me see if I switch to the different tabs. As you can see, now we have some interactions that we can do. If we go to startup apps, we also see the list of apps. Users, we can see the current user that is logged in in this computer. We can also see the details for each process and the services. Now let me see if I can open personalization and change the uh, theme. No, that's still not working on my installation. Let me restart the app and yeah, it's still not working. Okay, so that was a first look at the new task manager that Microsoft is working on for the next feature update. The application hasn't been announced yet, so it is unclear when it will be released. Now, if you want to enable the new version of the test manager on your installation, you will need to be running the Windows 11 build 22538 or later build. 
and then you will need to download this application from GitHub. Then you need to extract the zip folder, then click and extract all button, and then just click the extract button. Already done that. So you can see it right here. And then right click on the folder and select the Windows terminal. In this case, I'm just going to use the preview because that's the one that I like to use. Before using the app, here's a warning. Remember that this is now supported. Use these instructions at your own risk. It is always recommended to create a backup before proceeding. Okay, so you can enable two versions of the new test manager on Windows 11. One with the hero controls at the top of the tab or one without the heroes at the top. And without the heroes at the top should look like this, as you can see it right here on this screenshot. So, and to enable it, you only need to run this command if you want to enable it with the uh, hero header and if you want to enable it without the header simply run this command now if you want to disable the feature you need to run the del config instead of the add config version of this command. For example, for the first command that we typed, which is this one right here, we're going to change it to del config and with the same code, we're going to execute that one. And then if you use this command we just need to disable that option with the del config command with that specific code and that should disable the new experience and roll back to the classic task manager on windows 11. after running the commands you also want to restart your computer and then you can go back to the Task Manager app, and as you can see, we get the classic version of Task Manager. Since there is not a lot going on besides the new Task Manager hidden on Windows 11, I just wanted to point out that on build 22538, when you use the Alt and Tab shortcut, or you are viewing Task View, or snap assist, the highlight of the item will now use the accent color that you have set on Windows instead of just using a dark highlight. Also, according to Microsoft, the new touch keyboard experience should not be available on the lock screen as needed. And there is a bunch of fixes and other changes with build 22,538, so I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can learn more about them. And that's it, that was a first look at the new test manager that Microsoft is working for Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.